So, you had an epic shoot, recorded some dope shots, popped the SD card into drive, tracked into the editor, you nailed the white balance, nailed focus, slapped on your favorite lot, and, well yeah, not so epic. So if that cheesy intro at least slightly resonates with you, or you're trying to get into grading F-Log, maybe you're just starting out, or you're not getting the results you wanted, then hopefully the next few tips will be able to help you. Now again, remember, we're not going into color grading, we're doing base corrections, because I know everybody wants to get into getting that cinematic filmic look, but I think it's extremely important before you start grading to get your footage to a nice base corrected level. All right, so here we are in Resolve. Um, as you can see, I quickly made a timeline with a couple of clips from a recent trip. Yeah, as you can see, nothing crazy. So these are just clips shot in F-Log. Let's jump right into the color tab. What most people do is get the F-Log footage. They dial up the contrast so that they get a fairly good look, saturate the image. We add a little bit of color boost. All right, maybe, you know, with the curves, dial down a little bit of the shadows. They get back some of the mid-tones. And I mean, yeah, it, you know, it works, but there is still not a lot of color here. We're losing a lot of detail in the image, so. Okay, so before you start any color correction, the first thing to do is obviously making sure that your log footage is converted into the right Rec 709 color space. Now there is a couple of ways to do that and if you're not in DaVinci Resolve, probably this way will be the pretty much the only way you can, you can do it. Um, Fuji has some technical lots that you can go to the Fujifilm uh, website, you can download the pack and then you can see camera by camera. When you go to the X-T4 or well the X-T3 for that matter but right now let's just take the X-T4, you can see there is an, a normal Eterna, you know, bleach bypass, the Eterna um, Rec 709 lot, the normal F-Log lot and then the white dynamic range lot so i've already added these lots so that i don't need to waste time right now you can just drop a lot and then this works however if you're using resolve 17 i strongly advise you to do the other technique uh, which is going to open effects type in color you see color space transform drop color space transform into the um the node and then scroll down to rec 2020 we know that f-log is actually in rec 2020 you choose the color space and then you scroll down you choose f-log and voila the image looks great right out of the box now again let me quickly show you um why i actually prefer using this method so if you look at the two two screens here and i think you can see on the you know scopes as well on the parade and also on the curves or the histogram uh there is a big difference between the two i haven't added anything else just you know the normal fuji tech technical lot and the color space transform and for some reason i think the color space transform does a better job to preserve the highlights it doesn't add a lot of saturation um, here in the Fuji technical lot I do see that you know the highlights are a little bit more blown out also I do see a lot more contrast in the image which I tend to you know not use because I like to add contrast myself so my preference is using the open effects color transform tab now there is another way to do this and and, and that would be to go to your project settings choose DaVinci YRGB color managed and once you click that the images here or the clips here will have um, you know an option to select the input color space and then you bomb add that on and then you're done the reason why I don't like that is because once you do that if you have a longer clip or a longer footage uh, that you split up into different clips and you might want to you know deliberately not use the the input color space for some of the shots you know if you're doing a tutorial maybe you want to do a before and after comparison now once you com convert the whole footage then all the clips that are taken from that footage will be automatically converted therefore you won't be able to do that if you're working for a client and you're going to convert all the footage then yes that's probably a fast option 
So tip number three, once you have the footage converted to the right color space, then I would start adding in some primary corrections. Now what I typically do, I add the primary correction node prior to the uh, color space transform. I just think that, you know, it works better. If we go to another clip here. So what I've done again, I went to color space transform, right? Chose color space transform, chose rec 2020 Fuji F log. On the output color space and output gamma, I just said use timeline. That's because in my project settings, I've already set up the gamma 2.4, but I could just go down here and choose rec 709 because that's the color space that we're delivering to and then add gamma 2.4 you'll see the image right away pops beautifully and we're you know almost ready so what i'll do right away uh, at first do any you know minor adjustments i can see the blacks are clipping a little bit you can see it here on on the scopes as well um so what i like to do is i like to raise the shadows a little bit so that you know i can i can fiddle around with that in post and I would add just a slight curve here, as you can see, I've raised the shadows and I have adjusted slightly the white balance because the image did seem a little bit yellow to, to my taste. Then I would add some minor corrections. And I mean, if I wanted, you know, I can, I can just go to the LUTs, choose some of the film looks that we have here. And then I could just add a film look. Now this right away looks stunning beautiful i mean as you can see if i play it back it looks great and with that you hopefully have learned some new tips and tricks if it really helped you out and you like the video then make sure to hit the thumbs up it actually helps also if you don't want to miss out on future content make sure you subscribe to the channel until then go create and see you in the next one